The Economic Forum is a great place for the development of the international relations. The delegation from Latin America has come to St. Petersburg to see the scale and the opportunities of the Russian Federation. The Economic Forum traces its history back to 1997. It's one of the strongest business events in the world. As a part of the forum, the meeting of the delegations from Russia and Paraguay was organized in the pavilion of Gazprom Bank. It was very interesting that many representatives from the foreign countries were primarily from Latin America. The representatives of Paraguay have taken an interest in the opportunities of our company in the energy and gas industries. RIP Holding is exactly that integrated supply of the equipment that is needed to generate electricity, and here we have told about our capabilities. In fact, RIP Holding is the only company on the territory of Russian Federation that can produce industrial gas turbines. Representatives of the Paraguayan delegation have learned about the exhibition program of the event, having visited the stands of the largest Russian companies and have also taken part in various conferences. We are very grateful to the TurboTechCom company and the Russian government for being invited to this forum. We are very lucky to be here. Our country is in a new transitional period and is developing a transformation program. We hope that this is the time when the strategic program of cooperation between Paraguay and Russia is being laid. It is all about technology and what this huge country can share with. First of all, Russia has always had close relationships with many countries of Latin America. This story goes back to the 50s. And as before, the countries of Latin America see Russia as their ally, their reliable partner, their friend. We have helped many countries in Latin America in different periods of time and also today. It's not only about Cuba or Venezuela. We have close relationships with Colombia, Paraguay, Mexico and Argentina as well. Therefore, the interest that countries of Latin America express in Russia, and in this case the Economic Forum, is completely objective. Here they find new partners, new friends, enter into new contracts and just get acquainted with each other. And this is very important. The Forum lasted for three days. During this time the event saw 17,000 participants from 143 countries. Through the policy that is currently being carried out by a government, by our president, we have achieved a very high status and all countries began to pay more attention to us. I believe that this forum will give another impetus to rapprochement understanding. It seems to me that it's no more of a secret for anyone in the world who you can conduct relations with, who keeps their word. Therefore Russia is drawing attention from all parts of our planet. The key event of the forum was a plenary session with the participation of the President of the Russian Federation Vladimir Putin, President of France Emmanuel Macron, Prime Minister of Japan Shinzo Abe and Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund Christina Lagarde. Le, le salon est très bien, est incroyablement bien organisé. The Economic Forum is well organized. All major companies attend this forum. Big companies of France, all directors, all senior politicians have also attended the Economic Forum. Emmanuel Macron, Christine Lagarde. There were a lot of people. I think this forum will bring positive results to the economic relations between France and Russia. The delegation from Paraguay has also visited Russian enterprises and learned about their products and the production process. In Russia, the delegation visited Rep Holding. The guests visited the machine building factory of Podolsk and held a business meeting with the executives of the Illusion Aviation Complex. This year, we have managed to attract more new countries from Latin America to the forum. 
We have shown them St. Petersburg. In the coming days we are going to Moscow. The delegations have visited the largest factories of the Russian Federation. It's better to see something once than to hear about it. We have looked at everything, got acquainted and made adequate conclusions. The guests visited Lachta Center, a skyscraper in St. Petersburg. The height of the construction reaches 462 meters. This is the tallest building in Europe. In St. Petersburg, we have learned about the turbines' production, visited the highest building in Europe, the office of the largest Russian company, Gazprom. This is an example of modern engineering. It is very impressive. Over recent days, we could really realize what a great and beautiful city St. Petersburg is. We also had the time to get acquainted with Russian art, music and dances. The delegation from Paraguay has also visited the 6th Youth Judo Tournament in memory of distinguished coach of Russia, Anatoly Rachlin. The Paraguayan team took part in the competition. The event was attended by the President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, who personally awarded the first winners and medalists of the competition. In addition to the official program, there was a varied cultural program. In St. Petersburg, guests visited museums, concerts, a sightseeing tour was organized. The eventful program allowed to know more about culture and business sphere in Russia, and to discuss plans for the future, and to build up good and trusting relationships with the partners. <laughs>